Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your sick girl Shelby. Yes, that is what inspired this video today, real life events. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my natural remedies for the common cold, coughs, and the flu. So I got sick, I think last week. Yeah, I got sick last week. Now, honestly guys, this is my second time getting sick this fall already so i obviously have an immune system that is lower than it should be and i have been not resting enough and working myself which are two characteristics that definitely categorize this girl i lost my voice i had laryngitis right now i just have the common cold and i was at an event on sunday so last sunday for my business shelby naturals and i was talking so much so i was already sick not feeling well and then just over talking made me lose my voice so now I'm finally getting it back but you guys can probably tell if you especially if you watch my channel on a regular basis that this is not what I sound like and if you're new to my channel I don't sound like this okay so now I'm gonna dive right into my tried and tested top natural remedies that I do every single time I get sick or when I'm feeling sick so what I always have is hot lemon and honey so I actually brought my honey and my lemon to show you guys. And I also put turmeric in it. So I use raw honey because raw honey has all the enzymes. It's unpasteurized. It's going to have all the nutrients within it. So I'll put like a spoon of this in a cup. I'll mix about like a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. And then I will usually juice just a half of a lemon. And I will add boiling hot water to that mix, stir it together, and this honestly really soothes your throat. The honey, the lemon, and obviously the turmeric are just so rich in vitamins, antioxidants, so they're going to obviously help your body to repair itself and get better. So I honestly love drinking that. It is also very soothing. The honey is really soothing and coats your throat. So for like sore throats, coughing, anything it is great great remedy i do this like more all throughout the day when i'm sick so that's the first thing i do and then i brought some ginger as well i actually will stick some ginger in it i'll stick ginger in my water i'll make a smoothie with ginger i've been actually making more warmer smoothies because this time of year it is cooler so i want more warming things to help my body to repair itself ginger is amazing for it it's a little bit more of a Ginger has a little bit of a spiciness to it, which actually helps to clear out your sinuses And it's also again full of a lot of vitamins and nutrients that really help to naturally um, Heal your body. So it's a really great natural remedy. Also with ginger too. It's very like antibacterial So again, it's an antiviral as well So it's gonna help to just bang that virus out of your system, which I am doing right now This is like I'm so much more energetic and better than I was Okay guys, my second tip is vitamin C. So this is one of the brands that I'm currently taking. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Uh, by Viva, it is a non-GMO vitamin C that includes the bioflavonoids and rose hips. So it's a food-based source, really good quality. I grabbed it on Amazon. Unfortunately, they don't have it available anymore. So I'm gonna leave a link in the bio of the other vitamin C that I really love and I take, a liposomal vitamin C, and then also a capsule vitamin C by a company called Camp Ruff, which is really great. So actually, throughout this video, I will be drinking water because I am like, I don't wanna lose my voice again. And I just wanna be able to sound a little bit more normal. Vitamin C obviously supports your immune system. It helps your body to again repair itself and get well. So vitamin C, this is more of like a well-known vitamin to take. So definitely as I'm feeling sick and then when I am full on sick, definitely taking the vitamin C. So the next vitamin that I take is vitamin D3. So I have these drops here. I'm gonna pull that up there because it's focusing on my face. So these are by Genestra and each drop has a thousand IU vitamin D. So what I do before I get sick, and this is doctor approved, so actually by Dr. Zoltan Rona in his book, The Vitamin D Deficiency, which I will link in the description. He recommends, and there is a lot of scientific proof behind this. Now, obviously don't take me, and you can do your own research. If your vitamin D levels are, so you have your vitamin D levels tested and they are a little bit over normal, I mean, I wouldn't really recommend this for you, but what I do is I take 50 drops 
when I feel like I'm getting sick, so just like that feeling of just feeling tired, kind of your throat's itchy, I'll take 50 drops the next day and then 50 drops on the third day. So for three days, I'll take 50,000 IU each day, so 150,000 IU in total. And I took it this time and I can honestly say that I definitely did not get as sick as I thought I was going to get. I still have a lot, had a lot of energy. I was able to do a full-on show the second day I was sick. So this really, really helped me. Vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin. This time of year, there's no sun really in Canada. So it also depends on the country you live on too. Like I live in Canada. So Canada, you know, the northern U.S. states, even mid-U.S., you know, the sun is not out as it usually is in the summer. Winter is coming, so I generally will take five drops, so 5,000 units of vitamin D day. But before I get sick, I will definitely amplify it. So vitamin D, oil of oregano. This is... I don't know if this is gonna... So this is a Mediterranean wild-crafted oregano. So that's the one I really recommend using because it is the best. In terms of potency, I'll link this. I'll link all the supplements I'm recommending in the description, so you guys can easily go check it out and buy it. So what I do with oregano oil is I will put it under my tongue before I eat a meal, so maybe like three times a day, as many times as I can do it. This is very incredible for just helping to not even helping your immune system, but helping to kill the bacteria and virus. So really important to do as well, like the vitamin D, when you're feeling like you're getting sick water break so it's really good to take oregano oil before like when you feel like getting sick and then obviously to take it throughout your sickness so i just do three drops again like under my tongue drink water really quickly it's not the best tasting it is a little bit spicy but man oh man does this guy work it is great next thing i recommend is so obviously when i'm sick i take all of my everyday supplements so juice plus being one of them so I can show you guys here. So this is the fruit blend, the veggie blend. So Juice Plus I take every day on a regular basis. When I'm sick, I actually double up my dosage of Juice Plus because what it is, it's a multivitamin that is full of juiced fruits and vegetables. So for example, in the vegetable blend, there's like carrots, beets, broccoli, spinach, garlic, parsley, kale, cabbage, tomatoes, so tons of vegetables concentrated into a powder form. So again, Juice Plus, it's juiced vegetables concentrated into a powder form. And the fruit one, again, this one has pineapple, acerola, cherry, peach, orange, cranberry, apple, papaya. So you're getting all of the beneficial antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin A, all the vitamin E, all the nutrients that are going to help your body and accelerate your body from getting rid of the sickness, from kicking it in the butt, and for just helping you feel more energy and getting better faster. I take that every day. Honestly, I've been taking it for seven or eight years now, a long time. And I've gotten off it a few times. I've tried other multivitamins. It has definitely made a huge difference in not only my health, but my skin, my hormone health. Great supplement. We'll also link it in the description. Okay, so the next thing I take is Liquid Minerals for, by Longevity. So this I take every day. It's really not... Um, <laughs> it's not focusing as usual. Uh, liquid Minerals. Minerals are so important for getting, just healing the body your gut health. Minerals actually help to absorb vitamins in the body. So this is really, really crucial to absorbing all the other vitamins, like the vitamin C, the vitamins in your food that you're taking. A lot of our food nowadays is a lot lower in minerals than it used to be because of farming practices, because they're not replenishing the soil. Hence why I take Juice Plus because we can't get all the nutrients that we used to get in the foods we eat. So that is why I take this liquid minerals. I take it every single day, especially when I'm sick. I may even just double up on it as well and put it in a smoothie and a glass of water. Just drink it down. Make sure you take it with food. This is so awesome. The next thing I do when I'm sick is an immune health herbal tincture. So this one in particular is by Orange Naturals. And this is a blend of astragalus and ographis. Cotonopsis, so type of mushroom, Siberian ginseng. I believe there's also reishi. So again, very immune supportive. This is what's going to help you get over your sickness and help prevent you from getting sick before. I should have been doing this every day because I've been around a lot of sick people, doing a lot of events, and after I was sick the first time this season, I should have really been diligent, but I wasn't super diligent. 
Um, this you just add to water and drink it. If you can't find this exact tincture, if you, if you go to your local health food store, for example, you'll find a lot of tinctures that have, you know, herbs that are made for immune health. There's one by St. Francis. So there's lots of different brands that you can take. The next thing, elderberry and echinacea tea. So this is one of my favorite teas by Puka. I will drink tea. Tea is so good when you're sick because it's warming. It's also full of all the benefits and nutrients from the herbs that are really going to kill the bacteria and virus while supporting your immunity and helping your body to basically get better. So this is a great blend. You can honestly find a lot of herbal teas on Amazon, in your local grocery store now, in your local health food store that will also contain a lot of immune supportive herbs that will help to kick. They actually even have teas specific for flu and for cough and cold. So that's something I really recommend doing. One thing I do and I disconnected it from the power is my diffuser. So this is a diffuser that I got on Amazon and what you do is you just open it up and you put water in it. So I'll just add water into this compartment. I can't really show you because I'll spill the water. And then you add essential oils. So this just diffuses it into the air and essential oils, I mean, they have so many incredible benefits. That's why I use them in my skincare products for just really like they're very high, highly antibacterial, again, antiviral, antifungal. Um, they are going to support your immune system. They're going to help you to feel so much better. And they're going to clear your airways as well of the mucus. If you have a cough, if you are feeling like if you have a headache, you can choose specific essential oils to help with this. I find the diffuser helps me so much. It helps me to breathe when I'm sleeping at night when my nose is all stuffed. And I also use it as well to add a bit more humidity to the air. So definitely aside from using a diffuser, a humidifier. So turning that on when you're sick is also very beneficial too to add more he um, humidity to the air to help your body to basically get better sooner. So some of my favorite essential oils when I'm sick are lavender, of course, very healing, very helpful if you are, you know, having trouble falling asleep. Rosemary is another great one. And then frankincense is just another incredible essential oil that just helps your body to repair itself. Uh, I also use eucalyptus globalis essential oil, which I actually just ran out of because I've been ODing on it. But those are great the next thing I'm going to recommend while I'm still holding these essential oils is inhaling. Inhaling is so beneficial, especially if you, your sinuses are blocked, you're just so congested, or you have a really bad cough or a dry cough or even like a mucus forming cough. What I do is I'll boil water. Water break. <laughs> Speaking of water. So I'll boil water. I'll pour it into like a bigger mixing bowl like a big stainless steel or glass bowl, I will add essential oils. So usually I add like maybe 10 drops, 10 to 12 drops of essential oils into the bowl. I'll put my face over the bowl and a towel over the bowl and my head. So you're like blocking that steam in. And I just inhale deeply with the essential oils for about 10 minutes. So that I find, and that's also really good for your skin too. Um, but yeah, it's really great for helping your sinuses, for helping with a dry cough, especially to get it out, to get it more mucus forming so you can just get everything out and obviously help your body to get better. Okay, last but not least, a few of my natural remedies that I love to use topically. So of course, the Shelby Naturals Everywhere Balm. Like nothing is really, oh there we go. So the Shelby Naturals Everywhere Balm in Mint, I honestly use this. I have unscented in mint, but I will apply this to my lips all day long because who hates dry lips? Every time I get sick, I get dry lips. The last two times I've been sick this season, guys, zero chapped lips, zero dry nose. So I'll put this even under my nose. I like to put it on my finger first because I don't like to put it on my nose and then on my lips. That's kind of gross. So I'll just put it on my finger, put it under my nose. Honestly, with blowing my nose and everything, like it has not been chapped. So this is amazing for that. There's like four really, really um, hydrating, 
and replenishing oils in there like cocoa butter, there is virgin coconut oil, organic Canadian beeswax, and there's also um, marula oil, which is really rich in vitamin E. So very rep repairing, amazing for just preventing against. And then if you have dry trap lips, so that's what I'll do throughout the whole, I do it every day anyways, but like when I'm sick, it's like, oh man, it's like every hour, every, okay, in real life, it's probably like every 10 minutes. For then I have these two rubs that I bought at one of my health food stores actually this one was a gift from one of my friends and then this one i did purchase it's with the thieves blend so there's a blend of essential oils that they actually used to use during the black plague so like cinnamon clove bud there's rosemary eucalyptus menthol and this really helps to just open up your chest so i'll rub it on my chest and i'll rub it just around my nose on my neck just to really open up your airways help with all of the mucus and just feeling all stuffed up this just helps to really like release everything so i will liberally apply this to myself in those areas and then the dragon rub is the same idea it's a chest rub you can also use these rubs for like any inflammation too like muscle like joints muscles that are sore but again like i will rub this onto my chest my neck just around my nose to really help to open my airway so I can breathe again. This one is a really interesting blend because my friend uses uh, cannabis, which is now legal in Canada, which is crazy. I mean, I've never had cannabis myself. Topically, I do use it. So yeah, cannabis is supposed to help reduce inflammation, so that's why they add it to this balm. There's like wintergreen, rosemary, beeswax, organic coconut oil. So again, like really super natural. Um, I don't know if they're actually selling it. He gave it to me as a gift. It's super sweet and it works great. But um, I'm sure you can find bombs. I'll try and see if I can find them and link them. But if I can't, then you guys can find them honestly on Amazon, your local health food store. Uh, just make sure you check the ingredients and make sure there's no other you know, chemical additives, chemical ingredients, and it's pretty pure. These two are in a base of beeswax, so it's super natural because you don't want your sick body and your immune system to be overburdened with even more chemicals or medication. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope by the next video, I mean I'm pretty confident by the next video, I will be my normal, energetic, usual self. But I have to get back to work and to repairing my body naturally. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!